Hey guys, Blue Metter here. Sorry about the noise. Kind of live by the interstate, but I uh, wanted to do a video on my new camper. Did one on my old one, so this is a new one. This is a 2014 31 SQB. We bought it there at Walnut Ridge. Pretty good place. So uh, we'll go ahead and walk around on the outside, take a good look at it. It's about 30. 5 36 feet long but it tows relatively easy so it's got the all fiberglass uh, front end cap there got two 30 gallon propane tanks in here just have one battery for now i'm wanting to get a second one so on the side here you can see the two slide outs over here you can see the weight weighs about 9,000 pounds at the max so, like I said, I mean, it still tows pretty good. Got a little basement down here. Got the magnetic catches. So, I really like those over the plastic latches. The basement goes all the way through. You can tell we kind of got some stuff in here. I'll put the camera in there. Maybe it'll adjust light. I'm not for sure. So, you store a lot. Uh, right here is a battery disconnect. And then right here is a little switch for some loading lights. You see it's got two LEDs. So it's kind of helpful whenever you're hooking it up at night time. But it just slams shut, so it's pretty neat. Alright, got your water connections here. Moving on down. Got your uh, 30 amp here. I guess these do come with uh, two air conditioners. You can get an optional one that goes in the front bedroom. Uh, we don't have that, so it's just 30 amp. If you had the two air conditioners, it'd be 50. Um, oh, on the bottom, forgot to show. I'll kind of stick you guys under here. See, it's a uh, fully enclosed underbelly. And it does have heat through there, so it is a uh, four season camper. I think they call it like three and a half season, but uh, right there's the uh, front gray tank dump. That's just for the kitchen sink. And back here, you, you got your other dump. So that's for the toilet and all the other sinks. <laughs> and back here, we got our bedroom slide. Got a little place for spare tire. And this right here is where you can attach the uh, that propane grill down there that we had in the basement. It attaches right here. The gas line, this thing can swivel on out. So it's pretty nice. We've used it before. It works real good. Come back to this side of it. we got our outdoor kitchen. Let me go ahead and open that up. It's got the little magnetic catch as well. Boy, that's not good. So, we've got a fridge, a little college dorm fridge. It runs off of uh, AC power, so unfortunately you can't use it while you're driving down the road. It won't stay cold. But uh, it's nice when you're camping. Right you know, here, pull it out. Do a little kitchenette table, so you got little side tables on each side. Pretty nice. Right here, got a little two burner stove. And here you got your sink, so you can attach either a little sink thing or they give you a little hose that you can attach like a little garden hose. Make it in a kind of a sort of a outdoor shower. So, dropped a bolt down there. For some odd reason, the latch came off. That's all right. I'll look for it later. <laughs> all right, here you got a second door here. That's the entrance to the bathroom. It also has the uh, double fold down stairs. So it does not go off the gas piston, so whenever you open it up, it'll just float in the wind. So you gotta use this to secure it if you're keeping it open. Um, yellow handle, standard. So we'll go inside, check out the inside. So step on in here. Give you a look around now i did leave the slide in for you guys 
because a lot of people don't show you what it looks like with the slide in. Uh, we didn't really see whenever we bought it. Um, but I mean, we were expecting not to be using it whenever the slide's in, so. But whenever it's in, you can still, you can still walk on it, but you gotta be kind of careful. So, uh, like down here, it gives you a little bit of room. It's kind of a mess right now. But uh, you can walk through the little kitchen. So you can still get to your fridge. You can get to your stove. You can get to your sink. And you can still use all that. But as you can see back there, you cannot get to the back room and you can't open the bathroom door from the inside. So if you want to use the bathroom, you got to go on the outside or uh, just put the slide out a little bit. Then you can go in there and use it. So uh, we'll come back over here. I guess we'll start with finishing the outside and show you the awning. So right here we got our control panel uh, whenever you first walk in. So it's got a nice little step light. I'll turn that on. I'll turn all these on for you. Step light, porch light, flood light, and ceiling lights. That's on the inside. We'll leave those off for now. So the uh, awning, we'll extend that out. I'll kind of let you look. It's an electric awning. So we'll watch it as it comes out. Again, I know it's kind of dirty. I haven't cleaned my tamper yet. So, apologize about the mess, but you could get it out anyways every once in a while. Get the rainwater out, let your awning dry. So, it's kind of a larger awning, so it takes a little bit, the motor's a little bit slower than some of the smaller campers. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. All right. So there we are. So we'll come back out here. As you can see, plenty of room. Plenty of room. So it gives you a nice, big, long awning. This has some chairs or something out here. I don't know, whatever you like to do outside. <laughs> so uh, I'll show you the lights up there. That's what they call the uh, porch light. So down here, what's really nice, you got a little step light down there. So uh, going up and down your steps. So we really like that whenever we're camping. That way we're not uh, kind of polluting the campgrounds with all your lights and everything. So up here is your floodlight. Um, it's kind of useful, but not really. Uh, it doesn't really provide much light just because, I mean, it's kind of a small light. But... I kind of wish that they would have put another floodlight like somewhere along this area or maybe in the back like put maybe one or two more floodlights because then it could really light up the campsite and that would have been really nice but who knows maybe keystone will uh um make it so yeah this is made by keystone i probably forgot to mention that keystone cougar is the actual name so we'll go back inside so all right i'll retract it later not to waste you guys time <laughs> so we saw this slide in so we'll put this slide out i'll turn these uh lights off here so you got two slide outs i believe this one does the living room so we'll go ahead and do it out there we are and this one is i believe they call it gear driven so it's the one that has the bars underneath there's no cables just bars underneath and then it's got kind of like the little willy worm design on the side of the bars where the gears uh, pull it out. So I'm just running it off the battery right now. It's not plugged in. You want to get it out all the way. Now, as you guys can see, that slide is huge. So it makes a lot of room in here. It is awesome. And that's another reason why me and my wife really love this camper is because now that we have, you know, now we got our one and a half year old and we got another one due here in a week. No, not even a week, today's Wednesday. So Monday, uh, she's due. So <laughs> we're gonna have our hands full, but luckily we got this huge camper. So that's nice. So uh, over here, I'll kind of oh, turn the lights on for you. There's plenty of lights in here. So up here we got your TV, it can swivel on out, uh, that way it can point right at the couch or you can point wherever you want, you know. So up here you got a little storage area, same over here. 
Um, down here you kind of got like a little area with your uh, electrical outlets. I believe this is for the cable system. Not for sure we don't ever plug in the cable. You got a little nice area down here. I guess you could put a shelf in there to make it more manageable, but you got your standard uh, radio player right there. It does all your neat stuff that all of them do. So uh, right here we got a nice love seat. It pulls out into a bed, so well it just kind of flops out. But um, it's actually really comfortable. I've laid on it before. You can't feel the bar in it, so it's pretty nice. Um, they did a good job on it. It's real comfortable when you're sitting down. So you got a nice view when you're sitting here. You know, you can watch the TV. Have a good time. Um, I also really like these side windows right here. It's kind of neat because on the campers, our last camper, as you saw in the video, um, it didn't have any slide outs. So you really couldn't see what was behind your camper or in front of your camper. Whenever you're inside, you kind of had to poke your head out and kind of look around. But this one's real nice because it draws in a lot more light and that and um you can when you got the windows open it lets a lot more breeze in so we really like that feature and the blinds they're just your standard you know pull down blinds so i know a lot of people aren't a fan of those but we kind of like them i mean they're not too bad you know they're not painful to deal with so uh they're not like the i hate these the residential style ones hate them i mean i know it's for uh like the fire safety reasons or whatever so they can say well you know you need to be able to exit out your window real quick but I don't like it <laughs> just because you always have to have them up because whenever you're driving around you don't want it banging around banging around and um, they're just a pain <laughs> so uh, we'll start back here at the beginning up here in the kitchen area you got a nice big cabinet uh, over the sink here so we put this in, um, I don't know, we like to put those in. <laughs> so you got your electrical outlets up there instead of on the wall. That's kind of nice, keep it out of the water. Uh, down here, got a big storage under the sink. Very large, this is where we keep our uh, dog leashes at, so we can let our dogs out. Down here we got two big pull-out drawers, very nice. store a lot of your uh, cooking stuff here so we got another drawer over here it's very nice so oh, if you watch some of the RV videos <laughs> they always crack me up so we'll do the dealer thing and be like oh it's a uh, fully extendable drawers look they pull out all the way right they all do that <laughs> ball bearing <laughs> oh, they crack me up over here, like I kind of said, it's a little bit of a mess, but we'll deal with it. Underneath the sink, big area. So, that's another reason why we like this. There's so much storage everywhere. We'll turn this light on here. Another light up here. Not so cooking board. A big sink. We kind of wish it was split up into two, but it's nice to have a big sink to do your uh, pots and pans and everything like that. So uh, there is these little brackets right here. It comes with a little extension that goes out maybe that far or so. And then it has a little leg that drops down. We usually just keep it under the bed. Don't use it very often because you maybe have it on there. Can't get to your silverware. So under, well, let's see here. Up here, this is above the sink. This is kind of where we keep our bowls and stuff. Um, it'd be kind of nice again to build another shelf in there, but more storage so over here you got your standard three burner stove it's got the little spark igniter on there very nice so you don't have to sit there and light them got an oven over here your standard lights microwave regular old plain jane nothing special um something weird i thought on this one so i know on the outside you guys saw where the uh, uh water heater was well what's weird is here's the access panel to the water now whenever you winterize it you have to unscrew these and go in there and bypass or unbypass your water heater which i thought that's kind of weird so i'm not really for sure why keystone did that um 
because that puts a lot of wear and tear on the screws and the boards, taking them in and out, in and out. You're doing that twice a year, every year, you know, winterizing it and dewinterizing it. So, I mean, I figured sooner or later I'd probably have to put in a new piece of wood down there because all the wear and tear taking the screws in and out. So I'm not sure why they did that and didn't just put some sort of a better access panel in there. But all in all, I guess it ain't too bad. <laughs> so over here we got our uh, monitoring station here. We've got our water pump, uh, water heater gas, and water heater electric. So a standard uh, gray tank, black tank, fresh tank, and your battery. Right here we got standard uh, automatic fridge, DC electric or, or not DC, AC electric or gas for when you're traveling and stuff or not hooked up with power. So it's just your standard camper one. Ain't nothing special about it. Only thing that makes it better than you know the stock model is they put these little plates on it. Little wood plates which makes it look nicer but doesn't really change anything. <laughs> so uh, we'll move on back here. Oh, under dinette, we got two areas, and these go all the way back. Another one right here, all the way back. Uh, these cushions can come up, and the plywood comes out, so you can access it from the top as well. And then the back section back there um, comes off and does that as well. So a lot of storage again. Um, we kind of like this versus the regular table because regular tables get kind of small and comfortable but uh, this is pretty nice you can sit in there and you can have all your friends coming around it's real great for playing cards um, it's got like little cup holders up there they're kind of all right but uh, they you know I mean you can see they're not very you don't want to have anything like in a regular old cup so um, it's good, but here's another light. That's a little light. It's not very bright, so we kind of like to use that at night. We've got a nice dining room light there. Um, above our love seat, we've got another storage area, so very nice. More storage and more lights, of course. <laughs> we fill these things full of lights these days, which is good. <laughs> 